sirens in the background. What can you see what's going on? Well, we're hearing quite a lot of activity now. You can obviously hear the sirens. Uh, we've been told by the Israeli Defence Forces that they are prepared for a scenario. They warn that there would be uh, sirens heard across Israel when these drones started to come in. We're also hearing the sound of explosions as well. We've seen a lot of um, what looked like air defence interception systems over uh, Jerusalem, and we've heard explosions as well. Now, what exactly that is, uh, we don't know, but certainly the warning was that the drones would hit Israeli soil at around two o'clock, so very soon. It's coming up to that hour now. Now, throughout the evening, we've also heard the sound of uh, warplanes going overhead, fighter jets. We're told by the Israelis that tens of fighter jets. You heard another explosion there in the distance, slightly off to my left. Over here, uh, we can see another one of the interceptions happening just above us. It's like a streak of yellow going on, on the sky um, above me. But we've been told by the Israeli Defence Forces that they've got fighter jets up in, up in the air trying to intercept these drones as they come in, tens of fighter jets. We also understand as well that American planes and British planes have been involved in bringing these drones down as they approach Israeli airspace. A number of those have been hit uh, around the border uh, with Iraq. But clearly a very fluid situation here, very alarming, very eerie uh, hearing those sirens. People across the country have been warned to stay inside, stay close to their bomb shelters. Um, but um, it, it seems we're just seeing more, more flashes across the sky as we speak now. Uh, but it seems the, the, you, can hear that, you can hear the punctuation there. But that they, the hope is, of course, uh, from the Israelis that they can bring all of these drones down. And I think the big question really that many people have is whether or not these drones, another explosion there, whether these drones get through, whether they cause any damage, whether there is any loss of life, and what the reaction will be from the Israeli government and obviously the Israeli Defence Forces. The danger, of course, is that these drones do get through, they do cause damage, and then uh, a very volatile, febrile situation escalates uh, much further. The, 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 the risk, of course, is that this heads towards a much wider regional confrontation, a regional war. But that, that's the situation here in Jerusalem, unclear at the moment what is going on in other Israeli towns and cities. Absolutely dramatic pictures there, Alex. And I mean, as you say, you're in Jerusalem. Just tell us how rare is it to see these kinds of interceptions in Jerusalem? Because of course it is something that, for example, on other borders outside of, of Jerusalem, the, the Israeli border, these interceptions do happen, but how rare is it uh, to see it over Jerusalem? I think we're hearing more explosions, actually, Barbara, in the distance, quite faint away. I can, you probably can't make this out, but I'm also hearing a lot of car alarms that have been set off as well by the, the, uh, the frequency of these explosions. It's pretty unusual, really, in Jerusalem. It does happen. Hamas, of course, has the capability uh, or had the capability to fire rockets uh, this far, but it is, it is quite unusual, certainly, to see that many interceptions going on here Jerusalem, of course, is the, the city that Israel calls its capital. It's a disputed city, of course, not recognised by most of the international community, but, but, but pretty unusual. Of course, the other place which will be a focus is the commercial capital of uh, Israel, Tel Aviv. Not sure at this stage, as I've been talking to you, what the situation is there. Just before we came on air, we were also hearing and this is through uh, Hezbollah channels. This is the uh, militant group based in Lebanon that they had launched volleys of rockets uh, into northern Israel. There will have been interceptions there. So in the southern region uh, around Gaza, you frequently hear sirens going off. You frequently see uh, interceptions from the Iron Dome air defence system. And in the northern region of Israel as well, that, that flashpoint 
with Hezbollah. That has been, of course, extraordinarily active since October the 7th. There are daily exchanges uh, between the Israeli military and Hezbollah, but, but, but very unusual here. It, it seems to have gone quiet at the moment. I am, yeah, we're seeing more interceptions overhead, but I'm assuming, because the, the, the sirens have, have gone off, that the, 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 the main danger has passed. But you have to remember, with those sirens, most Israelis in, in Jerusalem will be heading for bomb shelters. Because of um, the position that Israel finds itself in, Israelis are very used uh, to those kind of drills. The Home Front Command uh, has been warning them throughout the day that this situation uh, could arise. We know that schools have been cancelled uh, tomorrow and for the days going forwards.